All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match it's tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 28, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 178 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Assassin. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the round. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that's a good right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. 
Oh, Superman punch lands. How good is that right hand? Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Guys, really throwing with authority. Blocks the strike. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And he landed the right hand there. Ten seconds to go in round one. Big leg kick land. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, good. not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Nice loose punch. Right under the elbow, the body keeps landing. Some nice back and forth action here. Real quick leg kick. Chase that finish down now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, a single collar tie here. Beautiful work with the knees in the clinch. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Lands with the right hand. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head in MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch land. Ooh. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. 
his opponent on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And they're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Good punch land. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Get him drive his chin into his own body with that body kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Keep your hands up. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. There's no tell. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. That's a big strike right there. Oh, straight right. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. center line, he slips to avoid that right hand. It off. 20 seconds left. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, the 
kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Hard shots landing on both sides here. What a punch. Superman punch now. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Now he's hurt really bad. He's got him right here. He is getting lit up right now, John. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, missed on that one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful kick. Look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Oh, as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice strike. Just misses there with the left. Under a minute to go. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh! He's struggling. He's hurt bad. Take many of those, you better check. Oh! What a fight so far! All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Big kick land. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Right hook to the head blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Wow. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Diggy kick. Some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh man, 
This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, create this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that. Oh! He's out! Holy smokes! <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. And here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.